Hey friends, Doug Addison here. Hope you're doing well. It's November 10th, 2017. And I just released a prophetic word for the month of October. I wanted to make sure you're aware of it. But it is um, the breakout power that's coming. And it's on my website. But I want to talk a little bit about it because there there's some things going on right now in the spiritual realm that needs to be broken. I, I've noticed that there's just a level of discouragement, people in the dark night of the soul. There's people in the wilderness. There's even people talking. To, I mean, I really feel this talking that they're so discouraged uh, that, you know, even suicidal at this point. But this is a spirit. I mean, we want to just break this thing off. My prophetic word, the breakout power is coming and there's power in your tears. Now, it's showing you that that this is a time where people are weeping. There's a time where, where um, that God's changing the season right now. He's shifting things, and he's doing some something completely new. He's going to gather together those who've gone through difficult times. Also, many of you are going through the difficult time. You are are forerunners that God has set you aside for this very time that we're moving into. So this is a major shift in the spiritual atmosphere for the good that's coming in the month of November. But many people are crying out. They're crying out for justice, crying out for change. They're all just crying, crying for relief from the struggles that are happening right now in your lives and in the world. But God says this, he's out, he's pouring out a uh, blessing right now. I want to read uh, Psalm 84, verses 5 and 6 from the, the Passion Translation. How enriched are they who find their strength in the Lord within their hearts, are the highways of holiness, even when their path winds through the dark valley of tears, they dig deep to find a pleasant pool. And where others find only pain, he gives them a brook of blessing filled with the rain and an outpouring. Listen, oh, I love this, uh, just uh, this passion translation and, and this psalm. You got to check it out. Psalm 84, verses 5 and 6 in the Passion Translation. And get this in your spirit. This is going on right now. There's some people, as you have walked through the valley of tears, that just says that what season we've been through, that you can dig deep. And instead of finding pain like others, the Lord is going to bring you a brook of blessing. And it's a deep, pleasant pool that God is sending. He's going to send a rain of outpouring. He's going to shift things over you. And we're going to see an amazing thing start to happen. Now, everything will normally look opposite. It's how the prophetic works. That's why we have uh, the ability to hear God is because we're walking through what looks like the opposite. So as we're coming out of a season of the dark valley of tears, God is going to use this to bring a brook of blessing. And it's an important to look at the things through the eyes of faith, the eyes of the Lord, where others find pain. The Lord is bringing that pleasant pool to you. I'm telling you this because I've been walking through it myself. Get ready for a new refreshing, an outpouring of the Lord's blessing and joy. And watch for the the highway of holiness. You know what that is? God's going to open this up. So that the areas that you've struggled in, maybe you've struggled with depression or addiction or things like that. He's going to use this right now and give you strength to overcome those things that have held you back in the path. The past. This is a highway of holiness. Now, this is not like holiness in the sense of just all of a sudden you're obeying, you're like obeying the rules and not doing anything wrong. The Lord's going to open up a deep, deep intimacy. Things that you've struggled with are going to become less power greater ability to overcome. Uh, there's a release of deep, deep intimacy happening and this experience of God's love is being poured out in greater, greater way. Now listen, it's going to require you to press in to get this. And and op- uh, the enemy's sending an open door of attack right now that you need to be aware of. And uh, it's um, I'll just recap it really quick for you. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy but I have come, Jesus said, that they may have life and have it to the fullest. John 10.10. 10. That's the abundant life that Jesus came for. The thief is here. He's trying to steal your joy. He's trying to 
take away your ability to walk in the Lord's presence, your ability to have intimacy, love, relationships. But listen, we need to actually move forward with exposing the thief. Don't let the enemy steal from you right now. There, there, um, there's attacks of self-hatred, rejection, low self-esteem, anger. There's these attacks that are hitting us, and they're rooted in one thing, the spirit of fear. And it is not just, you know, like fear in a sense of an emotion. It is a demonic driving spirit that's causing these attacks. It's causing us to get out of that perfect love. We need to be in perfect love because that's what's going to keep us in harmony with the Lord. First John 4, 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. It's interesting. Fear involves torment. Many people are going through this right now and experiencing tormentors coming. Fear isn't just the emotion, but it's also the tormentor. And many people don't realize it, but that demonic tormentor can get assigned to you. And when, when you have chronic fear, and it can just try to slip you uh, slip away. I'm not saying you're possessed or anything like that. I'm just saying we need to break this thing right now and walk in perfect love. I just want to pray right now because the spirit uh, of discouragement is really heavy. People are considering suicide. I'll just call it like it is. And God's calling you instead. Listen, he wants to call you out of the dark night of soul. He wants to call you out of depression. So I call forth right now that perfect love. I cast, <clears throat> excuse me, I cast out the spirit of fear can be cast out. We cast out, we expose the work of the enemy right now. In the name of Jesus, I call you forward right now into the things that God is doing. The Psalm 84, the passion that he's bringing, the highway to holiness, the valley of tears that's over in Jesus' name. Amen. Check out the full uh, podcast, I, excuse me, a webcast I did, Spirit Connection for the month of November. This was part of it, uh, but uh, I talk about that plus my prophetic word on DougAddison.com. Um, and while you're there, check out my new podcast, Spirit Connection, I just released. Uh, it's an invitation to go to the edge of adventure where Jesus is. It's a conversation with Dr. Mark Sharona, my good friend, my new friend, and it's very very powerful and uh he is so i tell you dr sharona is so deep he is a spirit-filled theologian and he brings a balance like you i mean even when he speaks he brings balance there's just something about his spirit and he talks about the manifest presence of god from a biblical standpoint what the community uh what is the community of love and and how to share it, how to operate in it. Also, what the Holy Spirit specializes in specifically and how God shows his glory on earth through broken people. And this was so encouraging. He has such deep insight into the nature of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the triune God. He has a real deep insight. I love that part of him because sometimes I think we miss out. It's one of my messages. We miss out when we're focusing on Jesus only or we're afraid of the Father. We don't understand that there's a Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and they're a family. God's inviting you into his family right now. Hey, why not be part of our family in Light Connection uh, at DougAddison.com. We have a new online workshop that we're doing, understanding the courts of heaven, how to be more effective in prayer and spiritual warfare. This is coming live Saturday, November 18th, 10 to noon. at uh, It's uh, Pacific time. Uh, it's uh, You can check out uh, my website uh, and check out the notes and uh, check out the, uh, the things that we have to say about it in the video I put up there. But listen, you don't have to attend live. This is this is school of the spirit, school of the supernatural level. This is what I train people when I go speak, or even in my own schools, but I go speak at other schools. This is the level of stuff. I've never released this, this training before uh, in any supernatural schools or even my own. The fullness of understanding the courts of heaven. And it, um, if you can't be there live, that's okay. You can get the replay, the notes, the audio, audio downloads, etc. But listen, 
I w- I'll be releasing more on this next week about what it is. You know, you can look at the the website that we have. Uh, but to understand this, people are are asking me a lot of questions. Yeah, but uh, you know, I thought that's Old Testament or New Testament. Oh my goodness, God deals with this in the sense of the courts of heaven, and we we deal with them all the time. When Peter was with, when Jesus was with Peter, he turned to him and says, "Hey, Satan is asked to sift you like sand." Actually, if you look at at the Greek word there, is he's asked to basically bring you to trial. And we see in the book of Revelation that Satan is the accuser of the brethren. He goes before the Lord and accuses the brethren. We have an ability to work this through. This isn't just for prophets. And, and, you know, this is, I'll show you what God has shown me about spiritual warfare, how my life has turned around in the lives of many others. So check it out. Uh, sign up for it. It's only $37 and um, we're excited to be able to do it. Also, uh, being part of our family, become a partner with us in Light Connection. Uh, you could go to DougAddison.com forward slash give or text L-O-V-E to 45888. Hey, I hope you have a great weekend. I know God's about to open something up in your life. I'm very excited. While you're at my website, check out some of the other things that we do and what we offer. And um, we're excited for what God's bringing and what's about to happen. Be encouraged, my friends, because God is not finished with you yet.